<laughs> How's it going everyone? Equinox Phoenix here. And today we have a very special um episode of Fire Emblem Engage. This one is not being done live. This one is being done just local recording because uh I wanna do the supports. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, let's just get into it. Reference. <laughs> I hate that I fought against everyone here, but the worst thought is, what if I had won? There's no use worrying about what could have been. It's in the past now. Look to the future. Okay. Now here's the problem. I, um... Anyway, um... I actually... It won't let me see C for some reason. Oh, it'll be in Reminisce. Okay. I'm so grateful you rescued me at the fortress. If I may, I'd like to repay you with a dance. I was glad I could be of help, and I would love to see you dance, Sea Doll. Okay. Now, supports. How did you like our run the other day? That was my first time ever doing a hundred laps around anything. I slept like a baby afterward. And then came the muscle aches the next morning. Oops. I should have warned you about that. But the run itself was just like you said. When I ran, I could feel my troubles fade away. There was nothing on my mind but the run. It was honestly pretty strange. So you get it now. Oh, it's such an honor to be able to do that for you. But we're not done yet. Next time, I'd like you to try some muscle balm afterward. Some what now? You have to let yourself recover after serious exercise, or your muscles will complain again. Ah, that makes sense. If I keep jogging with the muscle balm you mentioned, will I be as confident as you? Of course. It works for me, and I'm just a normal person. The divine one on this program, you'd be so confident that you might actually start glowing. <laughs> the way you say it, I almost believe it could happen. I was content before to be inspired by your confidence, but with these exercises, maybe I could be the one inspiring others just like you did for me. You've helped a lot, Etie. Aw, divine one. You're gonna make me blush. This seems like a good time for a quick jog. I'll see you later. Wait! Ah, oh, I think I embarrassed her into going on another run. Well, that's okay. If I follow her, I can get in a few laps around the Somnial myself. So I've been grinding, obviously, and, um... When the grinding comes the sport, the bond, you the know, sports and trip. I've noticed how often you bring up your wish to live a fairy tale life. Uh-huh. I've wanted that for myself ever since I was a child. I was born into a noble family. Everything in my life was planned out for me by my parents. My role as a noble daughter was to get married and then devote myself to my partner's family. They wouldn't even let me eat the street food I love so much. It wasn't ordinary for a noble girl. I hated every part of that life. I had no idea. The life I wanted for myself was free, thrilling, and very out of the ordinary. I didn't mean to stir up so many painful memories, Chloe. Oh, it's okay. 
They're just memories. And my dream came true when I got to be a knight. Meeting Princess Saline and you let me live the kind of life I always fantasized about. Isn't fighting alongside the Divine Dragon and the Royal Family better than any fairy tale? When you put it like that, you might be right. I wonder if they'll tell stories about this war someday. I hope not. It's certainly possible. And when they do, I wouldn't be surprised if you ended up as a major character in them. What? I never thought about that. But it's a nice idea. I must become the kind of virtuous knight little kids aspire to be when they hear the story. You're already well on your way there, Chloe. <laughs> Thanks, Divine One. I hope this doesn't take too long. Genuinely, I hope it doesn't take too long. <laughs> You're looking a bit grim, Saline. Problems? Ah, Divine One. Do you remember the tea we enjoyed together the other day? It was so good that I'm not likely to forget it anytime soon. It would appear that shipments of those leaves are becoming a favorite target for highwaymen. Changing the trade routes has made little difference. Each day brings more victims. That's awful. I am not often called on to intervene directly in matters such as these. But this is an emergency. And no one in Firene knows more of tea than I. So Mother has requested that I handle the problem, personally. How do you feel about that? I suspect it may be part of my education. Even if my brother is first in line for the throne, I am still Princess of Firene. So what's your plan for dealing with them? I thought I might drive them off with pranks. Mean. Uh, wouldn't it be lovely if things were as simple as they are in folk tales? But real life isn't so pastoral. No, it's not. I will show no mercy to anyone who causes suffering to the people of Firene. And I will go to any lengths so that my people may enjoy the peace they are accustomed to. <sighs> Don't look at me like that, Divine One. This is a duty I must bear. Now then, please excuse me. Action must be taken in this matter. Swiftly. That took a dark turn. <laughs> Holy shit. That took a dark turn. Grilled and ready to go. This meat is so yummy, it's going to make your taste buds dance. Wow. And that seems like a lot of meat for the two of us. Oh no, this one's for me. I was going to do yours next. What? How do you eat that much? <sighs> oh, you know, open my mouth, bite, chew. I won't bore you with all the details. Wow, you're really something, Tamara. <gasps> That's true! I'm really something! I'm the Crown Princess of Solm! And I'm wearing lots of priceless jewels! D please, keep your voice down. I've heard that this area isn't very safe. You can say that again. It's absolutely crawling with bandits. That's why I'm out here like a nice, tempting hunk of lamb on a spit. Wait a minute. That was your plan? <laughs> to use yourself as bait? <laughs> it worked, didn't it? Look, those bruisers have had their eye on us since we got here. It looks like... It looks like they're getting ready for an ambush. Not if we pounce on them first. Come on, <laughs> this ought to be a piece of cake for you and me. Yeah, <sighs> all right. But you know, a little heads up would have been nice. That's actually kind of hilarious. Anyway. Hmm. Oh, Ivy. Did you need something from me? No, Divine One. Must I require something to remain near you? No, it's not that. I see. Then please feel free to ignore me. What the fuck I Ivy? would, but it's difficult to ignore the anger on your face. <sighs> the Kingdom of Elusia worships the Fell Dragon, doesn't it? If that's the case, I can certainly see why you would feel uncomfortable around me. You can't imagine how I feel. 
Well, if you can explain it, I'd love to understand. It might reduce this distance between us. True, but we should get used to each other first. We'll talk when we're more comfortable. For now, I will leave you be and worship from afar. Worship? Bro. Yeah, one of the corrupted. The corrupted? Where? Diamond, help! Yeah. Uh, thanks for the save, Diamond. Sorry to trouble you like that. No trouble at all. However, I must ask, how did that creature manage to overpower and frighten the Divine One? It came out of nowhere. I just started running. I'm uh, not really good with the corrupted. Not good with them? You handle them in battle just fine. Well, it's different on the battlefield. I can spot them first, then steal myself before engaging. That last corrupted soldier got the drop on me. My guard was down. I'm an easy target for them outside of battle. Hmm. I don't follow. That's so. Um... Isn't there something that makes your skin crawl, Diamond? I suppose hairy caterpillars can have that sort of effect on me. Okay, let's say you knew you were about to see a big caterpillar. You'd have a chance to prepare. Now imagine you're eating dinner at home and a caterpillar suddenly drops onto your plate. Hmm. Wouldn't that startle you? Wouldn't you cry out in surprise? I probably would. It's like, yeah. That's what sneak attacks from the corrupted feel like. Caterpillars dropping on my plate. I understand. Very clear explanation. <laughs> if I well, that was a strange example, but I'm glad you followed it. Sorry you had to watch me struggle like that. How <laughs> unflattering. I wish I was flawless like you, Diamond. Flawless? Mm. Uh, hmm. He's just like, wait. <laughs> Do I come off as flawless? <laughs> Is this a problem? You knock us at A, I love it. Well, we're just going down the list. Hmm. Maybe I'm coming at this wrong. What are you thinking about, Anna? Oh, that's Lady Anna to you. But to answer your question, I'm brainstorming new products. More stuff to sell, huh? Yep. You know what Sweetheart's Day is? I think I've heard of it. It's where couples give each other gifts, right? That's the one. Usually people just give each other flowers, but the same old gift every year loses its luster. <laughs> so like Valentine's so, Day in the West and Valentine's and White Day in Japan. That'll bring the spark back to Sweetheart's Day. Wow, that's a pretty lofty goal. Oh, quit treating me like a kid and help me out here, Divine One. Nothing I've come up with so far has grabbed me, so I could use someone else's input. Hmm. Let's see here. Something new for Sweetheart's Day. How about... Uh, necklaces? <laughs> I see you have your finger on the pulse of the average Sweetheart's Day participant. Necklaces are almost as played out as flowers. They're hardly going to blow anyone's mind. Oh, I see. Customers don't want something they can get anywhere. They want something one of a kind. Oh, the constant need to come up with goods like that is what makes my line of work so tricky. Got it. I'll keep thinking. We'll come up with something good eventually. Uh... Divine one, what do you think? Of what? Come on, am I cute, sweet, charming? Use your words. Sure, you're cute enough, just like always. That's all you have to say? I put a lot of effort into being adorable, you know? Her voice, the least though. you could do is notice. I had no idea. <sighs> Forgive me for not noticing? That's all I get? <clears throat> Ugh. I can't believe that didn't work. A pouty face is usually all it takes for people to be extra nice. <laughs> Do you have some kind of god training that lets you see through fake crying, Divine One? 
god training. I don't think anyone needs special training to see through an act like that. Hey. Fine. <laughs> let me ask you something else. How come you're not fawning over me? I'm unimaginably cute. I don't treat people differently just because they're cute. Kindness matters much more. Wrong. Being nice is great and all, but cuteness is a huge advantage. Everyone knows that. I see. I still prefer so Ivy we'll over try Hortensia. This again. Only I'll be even cuter next time, <laughs> so you can't possibly miss it. She changes the pitch of her voice sometimes and it just it hurts my ears. Practicing your dancing tonight, Cedal? Ah, Divine One. <sighs> it's not so much practice as it is performance. I have an audience tonight, after all. But there's no one around. There's the moon. The moon? That's right. The silver light shining in the dark above. And the multitude of stars, too. I perform for them all tonight, Divine One. Did you know that when people die, they leave their form behind and become stars? My teacher is up in that sky. This teacher of yours died then? He did. These dance steps were the ones he loved most. <laughs> it's beautiful, Cedal. Every single movement is just <sighs> gorgeous. I give up many of life's pleasures in pursuit of perfecting the craft of my dance. It's not easy. I practice my steps intently, and I am vigilant about what fuels my dance. My dancing skills are renowned in song. Complacency and mediocrity are not an option. You're so disciplined. I respect that. And there's something otherworldly about you. Sometimes I'm not sure I should get too close. May I resume dancing now? Oh, yes, of course. I'm sorry I interrupted you. Okay. Bruh. Look at all of them. Ah! Behold, Etie. I tried adding honey to the single origin tea, and I think I might have created something new. Really? I'd like to try it. <sighs> Saline, this is incredible. I've never had anything liked. <laughs> Very impressive, Etie. Impressive? What did I do? Your hand no longer shakes. You've mastered your new teacup, haven't you? Not exactly. I just switched to a regular porcelain one. Whatever for? Don't tell me you intend to abandon your training. Oh, I'm still going to train. Just not during our tea times. Forgive me, Etie. This is because I couldn't stop prying, isn't it? No, that's not why. Training is important to me, but the time I get to spend with you is even more important. It's okay to take a break during our tea time. I don't need to try to do both at once. Oh, I see. <laughs> Every day, the war grinds us down. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to simply relax with you. So, I think it's best I not spend our precious moments together training, too. <sighs> you okay there? I'm touched, Etie, that you'd go so far out of your way for me. Of course. Come on, Celine. Don't you know you're one of my best friends in the world? I could say the same of you, Etie. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. That's a real honor. <sighs> oh, you're shaking again. That's not from training. I'm just feeling a bit emotional is all. Oh, Etie, come here. You can lean on me whenever you need. Saline <laughs> Not so tight, Etie. Uh, uh, Etie, you train too much. You're crushing me. <sighs> Dude, okay, that 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 bond event, that bond event was perfect. Even if I did start to lose audio. 
My goodness. Is my face so funny that you'd laugh as soon as you see it? Forgive me, Chloe. Though I wasn't laughing at you. Rather, it was the memory of the first time we met that has me so amused. Oh yes, how could I forget? My first encounter with the princess. You were at the harbor with your face scrunched up in tears. It was adorable. Oh. I wouldn't say I was in tears. The ship I meant to board couldn't set sail, and I was grasping at straws. That's all. Which is when I made my entrance. I told you if there was some place you wanted to go, I could give you a ride on my Pegasus. And off we went to the tea farm. I'd snuck out of the castle incognito before, but this was something altogether different. I'd never ridden a Pegasus. I can remember my excitement like it was yesterday. The first of many grand adventures. That day is burned into my memory forever. When they told me you were the princess, I nearly keeled over with shock. I mean, how many people make friends with a girl who turns out to be royalty? <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope it wasn't too hard on your nerves. Oh, it was an honor. Like I was living a real fairy tale. You might say I started a new life that day. Indeed. You must elaborate. Oh, I'd be happy to. But not today. No? I have the time, if that's your concern. <laughs> oh, Princess Saline. The best fairy tales leave the audience wanting more. Yep. Oh no, Hortensia and Saley. This is going to be um an interesting one. Greetings, Princess Hortensia. Princess Saline. Hmm. Yeah. Yep, you're going to be tough, but I won't lose. Pardon, but what are you talking about? Oh, you're good. We might even be evenly matched. But you won't catch me admitting that in competition. I mean, you won't catch me surrendering the field of battle. We are battling, then? Yes, and I will ignore whatever I need to... to proclaim. Princess Saline, you are no match for me. I will defeat you in cuteness. And while I'm at it, everything else. Hmm... <laughs> So that's what you were raving about. Yikes. How rambunctious you are. Rambunctious? Hm. Be all calm and superior while you can. I'm gonna fantabize you into the ground. Well, Might as well get it over with and surrender! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna love this. Is she leaving so soon? I had hoped to invite her to tea. What a darling girl, though. I wish I had a younger sister as adorable. <laughs> oh my god, I need to see the A I need to see the A support for this! <laughs> if we don't get to see the A support for the LP, I'm gonna look it up. Oh god. We're 30 minutes in and I'm like not even halfway. Hey Yunaka, mind doing me a favor? What you need, pumpkin seed? Stay real still. I need to give you a once-over. Wait, uh, what? Why? What are you looking for? And what are you gonna do if you find it? So many questions. Here, this'll only take a second. This is terrifying. Uh, hey, I didn't consent to a shakedown. You're searching me like you think I stole something. Good guess. How did you figure it out? Seriously? That was the joke! I haven't stolen anything! Not even one thing! I happen to know that you did. Yeah? You think your touchy-feely hands are any kind of evidence? Get out of here! Calm down. Nobody's in trouble. Oh, nobody's in trouble? Does that mean I'm free to go? Great, then I'm out. Hey, wait! Yunaka! I don't think that went where it's supposed to go. <laughs> hmm, what to do, what to do. About what, Prince Fogato? Nah, it's nothing serious. I'm just struggling to come up with ideas for my next party. I want to do something that puts a smile on everyone's face, but it's a little tricky. What's so hard about a party? Well, you know, there aren't many bands available for gigs in wartime. Plus, our budget's really limited, so there's not much room for error. Huh. I hadn't thought about all that. 
But you've got a point. Oh, what if we have a dessert party? Get together and just eat some sweet treats? Desserts are the opposite of a party. Huh. I've never met anyone who hated dessert. Hate's a strong word. I just love my muscles too much to load up on empty calories like that. What do you say to a workout party instead? What kind of party is that? It's where a bunch of people get together and do nothing but tone their muscles. Huh. Interesting suggestion, but I don't think that would be everyone's cup of tea. You don't think so? Nah, I'll keep brainstorming. Thanks, though. Okay, okay. Fun, fun, fun for all to see. Gonna sing, 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 and go shopping. Can't wait to see all the... No, no, I refuse. I refuse to put my ears through that again. <laughs> if she starts singing, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... Hey, Princess Tamara. Okay. Hey, Lady Anna. What's up? Quick question. What don't they have enough of in the Queendom of Seoul? <laughs> Is this a riddle? I love riddles. Okay, let's think this through. It's not a riddle or any other kind of game. Oh, it's not? Then why are you asking? Knowing what's lacking in Solm will help me decide what to stock and sell, right? I thought, if anyone knows all there is to know about Solm, it'd be you. So you came to me for advice on what to sell there. Makes sense. Now that I've been separated from my family, I've got to make a living somehow. Business is my only real hope. You know, Solm already has a lot of merchants. It's not the easiest market to break into. So you're saying the distribution channels for standard goods are already well established? In that case, I'll focus on selling my own unique products. That should be enough to compete. Ooh, not a bad idea, Lady Anna. I'm happy to help you bring a new product to the people of Seoul. Just let me know. Thanks, Princess Tamara. Well, no time to waste. I'd better start doing some research. Her singing is, um... I know that's like the point, but her singing is bad. Ooh. Hortensia. Something on your mind, Ivy? Or are you just here to admire my pretty face? Hmm. I'm just happy. We've been through so much, but we're finally together again. You're my only family now. I want you to know that you are important to me. My heart! It's a relief to hear a half-sister counts as family. That has never mattered to me. I have always thought Wait, of you as my half? sister. And you are all the family I need. Yeah, well, no need to make it awkward. But I feel the same way, so thanks. Wait, 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 they're half-siblings? You have your mother's smile. In fact, you seem to resemble her more and more each day. You think so? I'm flattered. I'm really glad. It's only thanks to her I get to call you my sister in the first place. <sighs> uh, I don't mean to dig all that up. I'm not holding a grudge or anything. I know. Even so, it is because of my mother that you... Oh, uh, you know what? I just remembered something I gotta do somewhere. Sorry, Ivy. Talk later. <laughs> that is such a bad challenge of subject. Holy... I'm sorry, Hortensia. Huh! I didn't know they were half siblings. I didn't know they were half siblings. That's interesting. Hmm. What's wrong, Princess Hortensia? Yeah, I get it now. You've got a whole other kind of charm. I do? Yeah. It's like an aura of sophistication, maturity. Like you could be anyone's mom. I like that. I want it. I've already mastered cuteness. I need to add to my repertoire. I mean, I'm sure I'll develop an aura of maternal sophistication as I get older, but why should I have to wait? You have it now, so I should have it now too. I guess so. That's a weird I'm logic, glad but okay. I you agree, Chloe, because I demand you accompany me for observation. Once I see how it's done, I'll be able to steal 
I mean, learn <laughs> the technique myself. I'm not sure that's how it works. But <laughs> She's okay. like, okay. <laughs> I'm honored if someone as cute as you thinks I'm sophisticated, though. Ah. Oh. Excellent. Wait, really? You don't mind that I just up and demanded this out of the blue? Oh, no, I don't mind at all. It's all part of your cuteness. See? That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> you do that. How do you do that? It's called being nice. <laughs> Oh my god, I did not expect that, but that is 100% worth it. The two, uh, special classes. Yunaka, I heard a rumor that you're very good at doing impressions. Is that true? Zappy! I do them from time to time for a giggle. Want a demonstration? Here goes! I am Emblem Corin. I'll fight with all I have. Or how about... I am Ivy, Crown Princess of Elusia. You get the idea. Finally, I found you. You were looking? Yunaka, please. I need you to join me on stage. <laughs> well, this is gonna be fun. stage, I take it you mean the kind where you get in front of people and sing and dance? Exactly that kind. I've been choreographing a stage play, and I am in need of an actor. <laughs> I can't do it. What you're describing is totally impossible. Mood, Yunaka, I'll you through it. I swear, I won't let this be a bad experience for you. Please, Yunaka. I can't make this performance happen without you. <sighs> you sound so sure. If that's really how you feel about it, I guess I can give it a try. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, if it turns out I'm terrible at this, I did warn you. I promise you, there won't be any blame. Only gratitude. I know what I've just seen. A gifted performer in the making. I mean, yeah. She got the voices down pat. I mean, I'm actually pretty sure that the, like, the, vo the voice actors are the ones who did those particular lines. Uh, how the... Oh, from the from when I was training or in the, in the thing. <laughs> nice chopping. The pieces of wood are perfectly equal. Really, I respect the artistry. <laughs> Glad you noticed. I am pretty good at chopping wood, it's true. I use it as raw material for woodworking or whittling, which I then sell to folks. <clears throat> Anna, I have a favor to ask. <laughs> oh, please. We're friendly enough that you can call me Lady Anna. <laughs> Lady Anna, might I have some of this timber? Hmm, that's an idea. Are you also into woodworking? Oh, no. It's not for me. It's for my stove. With such uniform pieces of firewood, it would be easier to precisely control the temperature. In other words, my cooking would be elevated to the next level. I forgot you this guy's a- me? Please? Is that how that works? Well, if you feel <laughs> strongly about it, we could work something she's gonna out. Sell, she's gonna... You'll have to pay, of course. I don't I love anything it. away for free. <laughs> you are a shrewd one. I've got to be if I'm going to make it on my own. I will pay you your due. The firewood is worth any expense. <laughs> she just made bank. She just made actual bank. Holy shit. I want to get my parents something, but what? You have parents? Hey, Fran. Oh, hey, Anna. What you doing? Oh, Anna is so formal. Call me Lady Anna. We'll see you in oh, verse. Right. Sorry. <laughs> I meant, hey, Lady Anna. Yep, there you go. So, what are you in the market for today? I'm looking for an anniversary present for my folks. Oh, you're a merchant. Do you have anything like that for sale? Fram, Fram, Fram. Of course I do. Feast your eyes. You won't find gifts cheaper or better than these anywhere. Ooh, these knickknacks are so cute. I bet this statuette would look good in their house. Tell you what, since we're friends, I'll throw in an engraving of their names for free. Hmm, that's tempting. You're pretty good at this, Lady Anna. I got separated from my family. Being on my own has really put my sales skills to the test. But look, everything I stock is rare and valuable. Your parents will love their gift, guaranteed. In that case, 
I think I'll get this statuette. Some engraving would make it seem extra special. Thanks for the business. I'll gift wrap it for you too if you wait right there. You may be young, but you really got this merchant thing down. One thing's for sure. I'm not gonna make the mistake of calling you plain ol' Anna again. Hey, we're done! Oh, finally. Now, there's one more thing we gotta do. Well, two things. I have to, uh, um... I have no idea where I'm going. I just clicked A. Oh, room. Well. Not where we need to go. By the way, make sure every time you're in between chapters and battles and whatnot, you go into the room to, to sleep and whatnot. Um... I have no idea if I did that today. <laughs> anyway, um... I don't know what I was doing, because I am pretty sure I started this whole endeavor, like, all the way over here. But anyway, we need to go to... Uh, inventory. Anna's level 10 now! So change class. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> We can go Warrior, which gives us Bow. Berserker gives us... Not as much upgrade. And we need extra luck. Hmm... Our best bet is warrior. Okay. Warrior gives us bow for an extra weapon. Gives us more luck, which is good. And plus across the board. Oh, there's a bow knight now. There we go. Oh, we could do sniper. We could just skip the sniper, which would have been hilarious. Anyway. I don't think any of them have, like, low stats like a a Anna does at the moment, but Anna's also, like, level 1. Oh, well, Jade does. Fram and Clash. By the way, those names. Lapis. Uh, and the people I've been completely neglecting. Uh, there was one other thing. 
We need to go to the arena. We need to go to the arena to... One, give her some levels. Assuming I didn't do it before I clicked record. Um, and then I need to make sure all of our emblems are at level 10 for to... I actually don't know if that's going to be a thing. Hi there! You can call me Lady Anna. Let's have some fun, shall we? Please! My loss, but your gain. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, if I win, you'd better buy something. I'm Sido, famed dancer of song. My loss. Yeah, how the flying? F I call hacks on that one. It's fine, I'll be doing, uh... Hi there! You can call me Lady Anna. Hey, relax. Let's take it easy. Oh god. No, no. Okay. Okay. Damn it! My loss, but your gain. I'm obviously not angry, angry, like, at all. But, okay, emblem. Let's see. Ashlyn has Lucina level 10. Etienne is Lynn level 20. Tamara, Ike level 10. And Hortensia. Oh, and thing. Violet level 10. And Seedal. Seedal needs to... We were fated to meet. My name is Corin. Ready to fight. <laughs> this loss pains me. My hard work is rewarded. <laughs> you get experience with that one. <laughs> Being a dancer used to be enough for me. But thanks to you. I see I want to be a protector, too. That's lovely. But the beauty of your dance saves people in more ways than you know. Not how that works. Oh, okay, actually, I mean, pretty sure. Anyway. I'm sorry that I'm the one to greet you. Oh, so I just popped in and started this. Okay. Okay, we got one more. We got one more uh, to watch, right? If she starts singing, I have my button on plus. Hey, Princess Mara, guess what? 
<sighs> My new product is finally ready to hit the market. Wait until you see this. Yes! I cannot tell you how much I look forward to this. Come on, let's see it. First, I asked myself, what kind of problems do the people of Solm face every day? Hmm. High levels of sun exposure, water scarcity, bugs. You would not believe the bugs I've seen. I hope it's much right. guesses, but no. How many times have you dropped something in the sand and never found it again? Huh. Well, uh, a few, I guess. That's where this comes in! A metal detector, oh. huh? A rake. Don't people use that to gather leaves? You must be thinking of some other rake. This one's for finding stuff lost in the sands. I'm not following. Say you drop something and the sand swallows it up. Not a problem with your new sand rake. Well, pretty handy, right? Yeah, uh, no, not really, no. <sighs> I knew it was a reach even while I was saying <laughs> But hey, it's definitely innovative. I doubt anyone else would have come up with that. Thanks for saying so, Princess Tamara. I haven't given up yet. The next product I develop will be the talk of Solm. Atta girl. You show him, Lady Anna. Okay. And that is going to be it for this bonus episode of supports and whatnot. Anyway, I will go back to my uh, grinder grindathon because I still need to give Anna some more, more levels. And hopefully we'll be able to stream on Friday. So that'll be later today when this goes up. Tomorrow for me. Anyway. Anyway, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.